defensive coaches and defensive coaches make adjustments. Uh, so it tells you that our coaches know what they're doing. And then our players um, came in and really dedicated themselves to what they needed to do. We told them to challenge them to get in here on their own, to watch some tape, take some notes. We gave them some specific things that they had to write down so that we knew what they were trying to get accomplished for each and every day when we watched the tape. So again, they were well prepared and uh, it showed there. So uh, again, we did correct those things on the third down. Could you have imagined, though, that them not getting positive yards until late in the third quarter and then playing that well? No, I, you know, I can't sit here and say that I thought that was going to happen. I, don't know. I think that's uh, somewhat of impossible in college football today, the way offenses can put up some points and put up some yardage. But that's why I say it's a, a tremendous uh, uh, comment to say about our defensive staff and our players uh, to come out here and play a dominating game. And like I said, in 2014, to, to shut out teams and, and really shut them down under 100 yards or whatever, that, you know, that's really, really difficult to do. Uh, Coach, is there an injury update on Abner? Yeah, I got banged up on his last play. I don't know all the snickers. I think he's going to be all right. Uh, he walked off on his own, so I'm assuming that he'll be ready to play next week. See Dante kind of follow up on, on his game last or two weeks ago, and obviously he falls twice, catching him twice. And part of the course for him at, at this point. Well, it's, it's great to see that. Uh, again, uh, some people uh, move along quicker as far as playing well in their uh, their uh, craft and their game. I know he struggled for the last year and a half or so, and uh, his hard work and dedication. I know Josh Woodrum has had him out there on Mondays on their own, catching balls and all that. So he's really worked hard. It's good to see it come to fruition on game days and. Uh, they're just going to make our offense even more explosive if we continue to do that. You guys went for it on fourth down kind of late in the game. What was your mindset? Oh, really just more keep the clock going and uh, keep ourselves going there as far as keep the team the clock. And if we had an opportunity to move the ball, uh, continue to do it. It wasn't necessarily, yeah, you want to score, but it's more about just uh, kind of moving the clock and keep our guys getting more reps. Some guys want to get some more uh, reps as far as the offensive line or second team guys and all that. Their uh, wide receiver coach had a career day last week against EMI. He was held to just one catch today. Is there an extra emphasis or just kind of describe how your guys' secondary did against him? Well, number one, D-line got a lot of pressure. Uh, that always helps. I don't care what, what you're playing on in the secondary. Then number two, we just had uh, Kenny. Uh, uh, he he uh, spotted him all the way around. We just told him to lock him wherever number 19 go. We sent Kenny Scott with him everywhere he went. So we just had him uh, man to man. We call it bird doggy. Whenever he came down to huddle, we had 14 to follow 19 all day long. And great job by him shutting it down. But again, uh, our defensive line and linebackers did a great job. Two questions for you. Actually, one that uh, Glover started ahead of show. What was the reason? Uh, just a uh, coach decision. We decided to do that. Nothing really he did or did not do. We decided to go with him, uh, uh, giving him some credit. And, you know, okay. He did a good job coming in. I was going to say, with, with Glover getting his first uh, That helps our offense even more, too. A guy has been able to catch the ball and come in and play. You don't have bumps and bruises as we go in this football season. It's good to see our receivers come to uh, to come to play when they not when their name gets called. Uh, sometimes you get one rep, sometimes you get 50 reps. Uh, when you get those reps, and if you're able to produce, then we'll give you more reps. So it's good to see Jaquan Glover be successful today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What's your thoughts moving forward on Presbyterian? They won today uh, at home. It's obviously going to be a tough game down there. Start here in about an hour or two to start watching Presby. So I, uh, good. I know they're a good football team. I know they're an improved football team. I haven't really watched them in detail at all, but uh, just seeing what they have done in the last uh, few weeks and the games when they lost, they've been very, very competitive. Uh, I think their quarterback uh, has got more experience. And uh, again, we just got to get ready to play our best football game and uh, get a good moment. So the Big South Conference is a very, very uh, good conference and a very good uh, conference. Else for coach? Coach? All right, thank you.